Hey guys, I hope you've had a great week this past week. I wanted to mention at the beginning of this video that on June 14th, it's a Sunday, we'll be having a yard work day. So what it is, is we'll have normal worship services and worship services will end about 10.30 a.m. That's usually when they end. And after worship services, we're gonna have a yard work day. So if you're coming to worship services and you're willing to help out with this yard work day, uh, please bring a change of clothes. And we'll spend about two hours um, just getting active and in, in sprucing this place up a bit. Um, but that'll take about two hours. And then we'll most likely probably be done around 1230 p.m. Um, and from there, you can break off and, and go eat lunch. But I wanted to mention that at the beginning of this video. But getting into today's video, we are continuing our series, I Want to See. And we started this last week. Last week, we introduced the story of Bartimaeus, this blind man who is introduced in Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. And if you missed this story, you can go back and watch it now. And we started our lesson series with these verses. What we discovered in the last video is that these passages about Bartimaeus, they give us a roadmap for how to talk to God, how to talk to God when we are struggling with something. And the first step that we talked about with this last week is that you need to cry out. By crying out, Bartimaeus showed just how serious he was about his need that he had. So if you have a serious need in your life, cry out to Jesus about that need. Because watch what happened to Bartimaeus when he cried out to Jesus. We see this in the first half of verse 48 in Mark chapter 10. It says this, and many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. When Bartimaeus cried out to Jesus, the people around him told him to be quiet. They told him to be silent. But what did Bartimaeus do? You see in verse 48, it says, And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And this leads us to step two of how to talk to God when we're struggling with something. And that step is that you need to press in. When you cry out to Jesus, distractions are going to come, but you need to press in. Discouragement is going to come even, but you need to press in. Doubt is even going to come in, but again, you need to press in. If Bartimaeus had listened to those people telling him to be quiet, to be silent, Bartimaeus would still be blind. Sometimes you and I cry out to Jesus, but then we let distractions or we let discouragement or we let doubt stop us from pressing in. We give up. Artemis shows us that we need to press in. We need to refuse to be distracted or discouraged or filled with that doubt. Right now, I want you to take a few minutes to think about the things that cause you to be distracted or discouraged from pressing into God. Right now, we are living in unprecedented times, and it's completely normal for you to be distracted and discouraged from everything that's going on by all the sickness, all the death, and all the bad news that is surrounding us. But don't let this time keep you from pressing into God. Don't forget Jesus is with you right now. He's with you always. He's with you always. He cares about you and what you're going through right now. So press into him. Press into him. Press into him in these moments that you are going through, in the moments that we are all going through. If you need to pause the video to reflect on these questions, I want you to do that. I want you to reflect on where do you feel doubt right now? Where do you feel doubt right now? Are you willing to cry out to Jesus? And are you willing to press in even when things are tough? I want you to ask these questions to yourself right now. After you've done that, I think that right here, is the perfect place for us to close out and to pray over those distractions, those discouragements, and those doubts, to pray that you can go through those, you can go through those and to press into God. So let us close out in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, again, I thank you for letting us all gather here today, Lord, even though it is through different media. We're not in the same room, but I'm 
I'm glad that we are in a country where we are not persecuted for, for worshiping your word and following your word, Lord. I'm grateful for that. At this time, I pray for the discouragements, the doubts that we have, Lord, the distractions that we have. I pray that you will help us move through those, Lord, as, as we cry out to you, Lord, as we cry out in prayer, that we will press into you, Lord. I pray that for every individual here, that we will press in, in deep, Lord, and, and just keep that with us, Lord. I ask all this in your name. Amen. Well, that's the end of this video, guys. It's a much shorter one than usual, which is why part three of this series will be coming out also this week. So be looking out for that, guys. Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know that the Saturday Zoom Devos have now been moved to Thursdays. So instead of Saturdays, we're moving it to Thursdays because it seems to work out better with uh, people's schedules and stuff. So Thursdays at 4 p.m., usually 4 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., we'll have Zoom youth gathering slash devos where we get to catch up with one another and, and have a great devotional of prayer. Um, that's all I have to say with this video, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.